How easy and how convenient is it for us to blame everything and everybody for the things that we have going on in our lives? There is a such thing as you being a positive and a great person with the best of intentions towards everybody and shit is rough and you just can't get a break. But most of you, most of you are waking up every day looking for pain, dysfunction, drama, unemployment, being broke, struggling, dropping every excuse in the book about your childhood and the problems and dysfunction that you grew up in that's stopping you from becoming successful. You don't like your friends, so why are you still fucking with them? You don't trust your managers, agents, and lawyers, so why are they still there? Do you really expect your life and career to be any different from messing with the same things, people, and situations? That's all I'm saying. Stop being a lazy, bum-ass person that's full of excuses, sitting around on the pity potty, coming up with every excuse in the world as to why you ain't winning. You are the reason you're not winning. You keep messing with negative, evil, and dysfunctional people and expecting positive results. It's time you get off the pity potty, stop complaining about being out of shape when you never go to the gym. Stop looking at your stomach when you get out of the shower and your body and complaining about the way you look when you're eating everything in sight and never going to the gym. You are the reason you look the way you look. You are the reason you're unemployed. You are the reason why your surroundings are so dysfunctional and negative. You could still be in the hood, broke and fucked up and living a peaceful life. It's a choice. We are being raised in a generation of people that come up with every excuse in the book as to why they are not winning. You have every excuse in the, reason, in the book why you're not spending time with your kids. Fathers, I'm talking to you. Because you're able to create a child doesn't mean that you're a father. It doesn't mean that you understand the concept of fatherhood. It's time to stop coming up with excuses why five, six, seven months and even years have went by without you seeing your child. It's wrong, and it's only the kids that are suffering in the end. Excuses sound best to the people that's making them up. You got every excuse in the world. That's why your shit ain't moving. That's why ain't nothing change, and nothing will change. Because you have convinced yourself that everything is wrong, everything is, neg is negative, and nothing will change, and guess what? it won't change. Change your mind and it will change your life. Change, if nothing around you changes, change the things that are around you. I'm tired of it. I'm frustrated with the amount of people that are not successful because they have thought their way into a depression. You have thought your way into negativity and misery. You have thought your way into holding on to a dude or a girl that you broke up with a year or two ago and you're still sad and miserable they didn't moved on with their life it's all in the mind change your mind and it will change your life you just have to you just have to wake up you just have to break that negative spirit you have to break through all of that shit that you're carrying I don't want to, I don't feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for yourself. That's the problem. Even when positive people are trying to give you all this good energy, you have tricked your mind to turn every positive thing that they say into something negative. Every time they say anything to try and motivate you and inspire you, you, you turn every negative thought and every, you turn every positive thought, every positive intention, everything that they trying to, to boost your spirits up, you flip it, shake it, manipulate it, and you have, you are so determined to be negative and miserable. It's unbelievable.
message isn't to tear you down and contribute to your negativity. My intention is to just say, enough is enough. God isn't done with you. God is not done with you. That's why you're still here. But I actually have a problem with the fact that there are people out here that could be more successful, but you have fought your way into a depression. You have fought your way into gravitating and moving into the direction of anything and anybody that's negative. Everything about your life that you've decided that you've wanted for yourself is so negative, but yet you're, you're expecting to produce positive results. It's not gonna happen, people. The outcome of your life and your career is based on the choices that you've made. I love you. I'm asking that you get off the pity potty and stop feeling sorry for yourself. For every level, there's another devil. For every level, there's another devil. Get off the pity potty. It's your season. It's your moment. Right now. question is, are you just going to look at this video and decide, wow, that was some powerful shit, and do the same fucking thing?